my Manjaro dose titration and my Zetbound dose titration by month. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth Countess of Shopping. I have lost a whopping 93 pounds over the last 21 plus months of being on Manjaro and then switching over to Zetbound and also the terzepatide uh, compound. I'm super stoked today to talk about my Manjaro dose titration and Zetbound dose titration. Now, some people may be a little bit confused, like, Elizabeth, Manjaro is FDA approved for type 2 diabetics. Yes, it is. And Zetbound is a, uh, a FDA approved for chronic obesity management. I was on, I've been on both. Because of the shortages, y'all, we are rolling with it with the shortages. But on today's video, I want to share my experience, strength, and hope whenever talking about anything medical or your specific Manjaro dose titration or Zetbound dose titration or terzepatide dose titration. You need to talk to your own health care professional. My personal favorite is Join Fridays, the discount code QUEEN, and I'll link all of the resources I'm talking about on today's episode down in the description link below. I will also have a blog post coming out on countessofshopping.com, uh, which has, gosh, 50 plus articles on there. My resource for you guys that I've been doing for gosh, 21 plus months um, to help on your GLP-1 uh, journey. And so let's go ahead and dive in. So I started off and the shortage, the Zepbound shortage and the Manjaro shortage have a major play in my dose titration. My whole thing is I am now at Zepbound 15 milligrams. I wish I was not. I've been on Zepbound 15 milligrams for the last nine months. And it was one of the earlier adapters getting on Manjaro right as soon as it was had the ability to come out um for for i i, I jumped on that bandwagon <laughs> i was on it i was an early adopter which is why i can speak from my own experience strength and hope because i've been doing this for almost two full years so and i'm going to talk about my major pitfalls too but in terms of the dose titration i started off on manjaro 2.5 milligrams for one month. Why did I titrate up? So I get this question a lot when people talk about um, Manjaro dose titration and Zetbound, like when do I increase, when do I, when do I increase my dose with Zetbound or when do I increase my dose with Manjaro? For me, it was when the food chatter came back. Obviously blood panels for Manjaro play a role in this as well and talking with your doctor about it too if you're having gnarly side effects. For me, if I was having gnarly side effects, I would not even consider titrating up. I would stay at that dose. Now I do know that some healthcare companies now are dictating when you can <laughs> increase your dose, which is banana doodles, by the way. That's crazy. Um, but for me, it was, I decided, and I had to decide around the two and a half week mark to titrate up because I needed to get my prescription in and I needed to have time to find it because of the shortage. <laughs> Yo, that's a lot of pressure in two and a half weeks to be like starting this major GLP-1 medication, navigating the side effects, and then being like, okay, do I need to titrate up? If I could go back slow and steady would win the race. I am at the highest dose. There's nowhere else for me to go. I wish I had the ability to titrate up because for me, and I'll talk about it at the end a little bit more, but for the first month, it was um, Manjaro 2.5 milligrams um, for one month, then Manjaro 5 milligrams for one month. I titrated up because the food chatter came back. Having the pause and the reprieve of food noise, food chatter, and if you're like, I don't know what that is, I have 300 plus, 400 plus videos, make sure you click that like and subscribe video uh, down below to see all of them. Um, but it's basically where your thoughts are looping back to food. And for chronic obesity management, that's a horrible thing. To <laughs> it's a horrible thing to have. And then when you have a, when I, I'll use my I statements, when I had a reprieve on it, it was nothing like I had ever experienced. I, I think even as a little girl, like even at like five years old, I can remember having food consumption thoughts and food thoughts like thinking about like over and over and over and to free that space up to not have that food noise and food chatter, what a blessing, what a gift. And so I was on 2.5 milligrams, one month, five milligrams, one month uh, for Manjaro, five milligrams, Manjaro, 7.5 milligrams, one month. I was on 7.5, Manjaro, 7.5 milligrams for just one month because of the Manjaro shortage. At that time, then it started, everyone was like, oh my goodness, it started to get popping. And the shortage made me switch. I would have stayed on Manjaro 7.5 milligrams a lot longer if I had had my personal preference, but I could not get it. And so at that point, because compounds weren't as popping as they are now, I mean, if you're looking for terzepatide compound or semi-glutide compound, join Fridays as of this moment, they're amazing. They've changed their pricing structure. It's actually less. Um, and even as you increase in doses, they have exceptional care. And um, again, that discount code queen, but I don't want to go off and talk about all about that. 
but that was not an option for me. I probably now would have switched over to those at that point, which I have. When the shortage comes, I kick over to Terzabatide compound. It's been awesome because Join Fridays prescribes both brand names and compounds like Terzabatide or semi-glutide. So I was on Zepbound 2.5 milligrams one month. Then um, Zepbound, excuse me, Manjaro. And Manjaro and Zepbound are the same thing, just two different FDA approvals. So Zepbound, or excuse me, we just got back from a vacation. I'm still like, get it together here, Elizabeth. So Manjaro 2.5, Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, one month. Manjaro 5 milligrams, one month. Manjaro 7.5 milligrams, one month because of the shortage. Manjaro 10 milligrams, three months, switched because of the shortage. Manjaro 12.5 uh, 12 milligrams, I think at that point I switched over to Zepbound. I'm trying to remember if it was that time I kicked over, and I think it was at some point during that 12.5 I, if I'm remembering correctly, was for six months. And then finally making the leap, and that had been a full year. So it was three months like to get to 7.5 milligrams, and then six months total to get to 10 milligrams, Manjaro 10 milligrams, and then one year to get to Manjaro 12.5 milligrams slash Zepbound 12.5 milligrams, and the last nine months on Zepbound 15 milligrams, losing a grand total of 93 pounds. In addition, it's not just about the weight, it's about the lifestyle change for me too. I um, rode a roller coaster, which I hadn't done this summer with my boy and my hot husband. It was, it was amazing, it was truly a dream come true. We did not do that, haven't done in decades. And literally two days ago, I rode a horse. I'll talk about that more in upcoming videos, which is why you wanna click that like and subscribe button. That was truly a non-scale victory. That was amazing, like that was, Amazing. And now I'm going to start taking horseback riding lessons. We'll talk about that in another video. But how much GLP-1 medication has changed my life? This morning before school, my little boy and I went out for a mile walk. Like I am so physically active now as a result of losing this weight. Now I have been on, and this is this is the dicey part. So I want to, it sounds rainbows and butterflies, but friends, it's not been the last 21 months, rainbows and butterflies. Um, and many of you are following my mammogram journey. If you're wanting an update on that, I go see the doctor on Monday and I'll, I'll provide an update on that as well. So more to come on that. But, and I'm not, I'm after that video, I'm way less concerned because many of you have told me about false negatives or false positives. And so anyways, we'll talk about that in another video too. But my, my challenge is now I'm at the highest dose. I know I need a higher dose. Food thoughts are coming back. Um, I But I, here's the other part to that is, I, uh, people ask, you've been stuck at 93 pounds for quite some time. I'm like, well, A, that's a lot of weight to lose. B, that's not my goal. My end game is to get to a hundred pound weight loss. So I'm only seven pounds away, but only, but if I'm not losing that much weight as quickly as I was. When I first started this journey, my first week I lost more than 10 pounds. It was 10, 11, 12, somewhere, I forget. I need to go back to the old videos. Many of you guys binge watch the old videos and I'm like, thank you for watching my old videos. And so I'm not losing weight like that anymore. My body has acclimated and in fact, it's, it's fighting against me for I'm losing weight. I have to work hard at that point. And so when I get comments of, oh, you're stalled, it's, I wanna be like, it's not like I'm not working for this. I'm working my butt off even more than I did back a year ago, a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. I'm working harder now. This shizzle is hard for me. <laughs> it is hard for me. And I know hard for many other turtles out there. Turtles unite, slow and steady wins the race. Eventually the turtles do win. So I will get there, but it is so frustrating to me because I know if I had a higher dose, I still have more weight to lose. And to be honest, to get into the proper BMI to be not overweight, I'm still technically overweight, which is crazy, by the way. Um, that's what that's what an overweight, a morbidly obese on the right, and then on the left, an overweight woman looks like. I still will be overweight at the 100 pound weight loss journey. I need to lose more weight than that, but that's like my goal to get to, if I'm being brutally honest. Like that's the goal that I'm like desperately trying to get to. And not desperately because I'm doing this in a safe, efficient way with the monitoring of a healthcare provider. Many of you have asked, why don't I titrate down on a dose? I don't feel like that would work for me. I feel like I need a higher dose. There's not a recalibration for me. I have a deficit and this is me using non-scientific language. So don't feel the need to repeat it. It's my interpretation of what's happening within my body. You talk to your own healthcare provider if you're feeling somewhat similar with this to get actually a medical opinion on it. But my interpretation of what's happening in my body is I, 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 the GLP-1 deficiency, which is what we're on or what I'm on is a GLP-1 medication, I'm deficient in it. And so 
I do need a higher dose because everybody's not the same. Some people respond, and if you saw my success interview with the amazing Linda, she's been on ZepBound, it's, yeah, ZepBound 2.5 milligrams for a long time, and she's lost over 50 pounds at ZepBound 2.5 milligrams. I'm at ZepBound 15 milligrams, and I'm at a weight stall, basically. Like it's, it, it, you guys can see I'm tricking down like every month I lose a pound or two. And it's not because I'm not lifting, working out, trying my hardest with my food choices, but my food choices could be even better if I had a higher dose to go to. And so all of that to say, if you're just starting, you're like, why is she going off on this tirade? The point of the matter is, is I wish I could have gone slower to cultivate skills like how much protein to have in a day, which I've done a ton, like I've interviewed a dietitian who's a GLP-1 dietitian. Um, not everybody's body is the same, but her encouragement works really well for me. And it might work well for you too. And that's a free video down below. Um, and so I, I wish I had the ability to titrate up and it's gonna realistically be another two to three years until something else comes onto the marketplace, like Reda True Tide. And so I'm holding out, but it's giving me, and this is the gift, this is the gratitude, the ability to work on my skill set associated with this. If I think if I had tied, if I was at, for example, if there was such a thing of a zep bound 17.5 milligrams, that's not in existence. I'm making that up as of currently filming this right now. But if there was, perhaps I wouldn't work so hard to have nutrient dense food. I wouldn't do as much research as I'm doing on my food choices because literally now I am working out, I am lifting, I'm doing those things. But it really, the weight loss battle is between me and my fork. It is at this point. I don't really have side effects. I get nauseous. I got nauseous a couple days ago. I was like, Ugh, I ate too much. It was, it was 24 hours after shot day. That for me is when ZepBound side effects kick in and when Manjaro side effects kicked in. And so um, I got not, but it's really not like it was. Before it'd be like, not debilitating, but definitely it was hard for me to, it was hard. So if you're in that hard season, for me, it got better. And now I'm acclimated and now I'm like, gosh, I wish I could take the medication every five days or I wish I had a higher dose or I, like all of these things. My body's just responded to it and it's done beautifully and there's still more to go when I can't. Realistically, if I'm, I'm trying to do the math quickly off the top of my head, 20 pounds, 30 pounds even to be realistically, I need to look at my BMI of how much more I have to go on that. But if you're where I'm at, it's frustrating, but there's a solution, which is working on these other tools. It's lifting. I never would have gone down the path of doing Pilates and lifting and like all of these things that I'm doing. The, uh, I keep saying it, someone told me how to say it properly, Pavolve, uh, that, that, which is linked down below. Like I wouldn't have done all of these things, the free wall Pilates that I've talked about um, that's here on YouTube. Like I wouldn't have tried all these things if I wasn't stuck. So if you're stuck, it's kind of a blessing in a weird way in disguise because it's made me and it's forced me and I probably wouldn't have utilize all of these different tools. So I don't know if that helps you on your dose titration, but know that I wish I would have, and this is where I wanna encourage other people to talk to their healthcare provider, because I am not healthcare, this is not medical advice, this is simply my experience, strength, and hope. But going along, for example, my, my Majaro 7.5 milligrams slash Zetbound 7.5 milligrams, I would have stayed on that several months longer and I would probably have been, it, I would have just been titrating up near Zepbound 15 milligrams now, probably. And would that have changed my weight loss? Would I have lost more weight as a result of that for having that punch of titration? I don't know. I do also know, and we've talked about this in my free encouragement group, which is linked down below too. You're welcome to join. I am a bit behind. I was on a vacation with my hot husband, hence the horseback riding. I will get caught up on the group. Um, usually I'm about a day, sometimes two days behind admitting people into the group. So if you're in that pocket, I apologize. I'm, I'm doing it today. Literally like Friday night, what are you doing? I work, to work on that Facebook group like 20 hours a week because I love it so much. Um, and it's free stuff. It's a free group. I'm not paying any, like it's free. It's an amazing group. Um, but in that group, we're talking about, I don't feel there's this expectation I had it when I titrated up that I was going to magically go back to being not hungry and all of these things. And that's in for me. On ZepBound 7.5 milligrams, I thought I was going to have that relief that I had on ZepBound. I'm saying ZepBound, but it was Manjaro. But they're the same thing, different FDA classifications. Because I'm on ZepBound, that's why I'm changing the name. So I don't want people to get confused. I, hopefully you're not confused. Hopefully you're following the story here. But on the Manjaro 7.5 milligrams, ZepBound 7.5 milligrams, two different FDA classifications, same medica medication. I thought 
I was going to have this like euphoria, this break, this amazing weight loss drop again. I'm going to lose another five pounds this week as a result of going up. That didn't happen for me. It was like crickets. It wasn't really, if I'm remembering correctly, and I want to make sure I'm telling this, like, but I don't think it was this major thing. People were asking me, they're like, it's kind of a letdown. And for me, I want to share, if you're having that letdown, it's also okay too. There is a gift in that to be able to work on other skill sets like food and lifting, which is what I'm heavily talking about. I'll be having another what I eat in a day video coming out here. I just have to edit it. Of what am I eating to help me on this weight loss journey of being stuck, of having a weight stall? And it's not a weight stall. It's I've lost a lot of weight. Like as I've explained, I've lost a lot of weight. I'm doing the best that I can. I don't want to, it's not sustainable for me to do certain things that I could do. I'm not, and I'm not doing those. And I'm also not titrating down. People will recommend that. For other people, that works great for them. That would not work well for me. I don't need to drop down. I need actually more of the medication. Um, and so I am holding strong at this dose and working on the tools. If there's, if there's scientific data that comes out about dropping down doses, but to me, that just doesn't make logical sense. Um, if that's working for you, I'm so happy for you because I, I want you to do you. I want you to have the best health. Like That's my whole encouragement. My whole motivation is I want you to be the best version of you you can be. And so if that's what, and I know many of you are doing that, and I, I want that so badly. I want what works well for you. Um, but going in six months and being at, Mandrao 10 milligrams, Zetbound 10 milligrams, six months in, that wasn't my plan. I, if I could go back, I would have loved to have been at um, Zetbound 5 milligrams or Zetbound 7.5 milligrams to work on that tool. Now, someone has countered me and also said, well, what if you, um, if, if, if you, you may have lost weight slower if you had done that. And that could be true, coulda, shoulda, woulda, like who knows, you know? Um, who knows if buying that extra six months really would have made a big difference in my weight loss journey? I don't know, probably. But who knows? Would I be at 100 pound weight loss versus 93 pounds? Either way, it's a major victory. And I, I, that's what I'm really choosing to focus in on. And that's what I want you to choose to focus in on too. Now, some of you ask some of my favorite products in my free encouragement group. You are not obligated by any means. Um, I don't want anybody purchasing things superfluously, but people ask my recommendations, so therefore I give it. If you're asking me, I'm gonna tell you because I've tested a ton of products. My favorite magnesium is by Optimizers. Um, use the discount code QUEEN. They have it in pill format or um, powder format. Helpful for my Mandrao side effects, Zetbound side effects. Made a big, big difference for me with that. Um, switching, it has seven types of magnesium. The old one had one. Constipation, I am not constipated with this. I'm not. Um, and sleep, helps with my sleep and muscle recovery because I'm lifting. Mage on that, of course, Element Electrolytes. I've been like the spokesperson talking about these because I bought them almost two years ago with the intentions for side effects. Element Electrolytes has been very gracious to give us eight free sticks with any purchase. My favorite daily vitamin is Gem, 50% off. I, I negotiate all these deals for you guys. I want you guys to save a ton of money because <laughs> if you're going to be trying new things, might as well, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you if I like something or not. And um, they're Gem Bites. 50% uh, off of the first month's subscription. That's all linked down below. And of course, my Amazon shopping list. Like I talk about that too, of like your starter pack, if you're just starting, if you're doing research to have those things underneath your bathroom sink. If you do get diarrhea, if you do get constipation, what worked well for me, obviously under a healthcare pro uh, professional's advice. My neck cream, I have tested several ones. I just found out that Creperies neck cream is off Amazon for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so I do like Go Pure. I'll link that down below. They were having a big sale on Amazon. That's linked down below. And the QRX one, they were having a coupon recently for um, saggy necks. And for saggy body skins, because y'all, I do have, I like to keep it real. I do have saggy skin. I do. And a plastic surgeon eventually will take care of that when I'm done with my weight loss journey, but uh, Crepe Race is awesome. Their stuff is great. Um, as is Sol de Janeiro, the Baja de Fleur. I like the texture of that and their scrub. Um, many of you guys have asked if I had tried the Javi um, for my profi, my protein coffees. I do am liking these as well. I am. I'm the decaf is the one I really love. Okay, sweet friends, all of that is linked down below. My sneakers too. 
you guys were asking me about, I did a whole sneaker episode on my favorite sneaks for walking. It's the, walking is the easiest thing you can do. Like if you're able to walk, go walk. This morning I walked a mile. I'm going to go walk several more miles later today too. I got to get to my kid's school. Um, get all of the free resources down below, including my free meal plan. If you don't know what to eat, get my free meal plan. It's linked down below. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. And our emoji of the day today is going to be a high five. High five, friend. High five Friday. <laughs> I love you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow. And don't forget the accountability question. Love you. Bye, guys.